As the CEO of Microsoft, in this world of AI, if I'm a beginner, just want to break into tech, what's your number one piece of advice? Getting real fundamentals on sort of software. If you're a software engineer, I think still matters a lot. Having the ability to think computationally, because even if you get the levels of abstraction, right? Like this morning, one of the demos I did was even I could go and fix a bug because it was assigned to me yeah, by yeah, just yeah. assigning it to Copilot yeah. coding agent. Except I was thinking about it. It was a pretty cool issue, right? The issue was, hey, a filter, which was basically a percentile. Creating a feature. Yeah, it is a feature. But then I said, oh man, this is like, you know, I, I could, you know, recount what is a SQL query, right? Group case when, right? That right, is right, basically right. it. So the fact that I knew what it would do, and it was going to take out some of the drudgery, right? And of course, it didn't even said, hey, go do this with a dummy cache and the read is cache, right? Some of the incantations some of us has to put up with to get some software done. The joy of some of the software programming is gone. So I kind of feel like all of us are going to be more software architects. So in some sense, if you think about it, right, you know, we said, oh, we've got to be first software engineer. And if you get a lot of experience, you'll be a software architect. Right, I wonder right. whether the path to being that software architect gets speeded up. So I would say for any student, anyone getting in, get the fundamentals yeah, right. Don't That's, just vibe code. <laughs> yeah, you know, you know, vibe coding. Yeah, yeah. So I, I just feel like, you know, if you're just saying accept, 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 thinking like a systems engineer or like an architect, I think yeah. it's still important. We, we still need our baseline. 100%. Perfect.